friends, I'm back again to show you a walkthrough of my personal wide spice chili rings from Foxy Fix. I think these are just gorgeous. I'm using this setup for my home planner. So it's not my everyday carry, but it holds essential things for home. So first of all, my embossing, dreams and plans in gold. On the side, the fox and pip bow, also in gold. I've got this gorgeous swag on the front from Fur and You, which I love, and I think it complements this color chili pretty nicely. My Ollie clip in gold, love it. And a couple little bows on the top, not too much. Uh, those came out of my Kinley's Doodle Box. So let's get into the inside. All right. So in my pockets, again, I have some of that cute paper from Michael's. Um, just cut to fit the inside. A couple of cute little fox in here uh, from Sparkly Paper Co. And my coffee clip from One Little Bee. Because I'm a coffee addict. Let's just admit it. Um, all right. I kind of just wound my Studio Signet charm through the rings so it would hang out the bottom appropriately. If you hear that noise in the background, it's my neighbors. They're moving their trailer. Okay, so my front dashboard. I kept it mostly clear, as you can see. It just has Miss Moss here, die cut, and a cute little grumpy bear planning die cut. So I mostly kept it blank because I like seeing the paper through it. <clears throat> so this paper came from Kinley's Doodle Box. Um, it came as a wraparound for a traveler's notebook, but I just cut it to fit and punched holes so it would fit here in my personal wide. Then my first section here is my notes section, which I printed out um, just notes pages that I can use to mark down any important things that I need to keep track of. And um, it's just wide open space for me. My next section is actually my calendar section. So I'm using, this is another one of those Kinley Doodle Box dashboards. I'm using Annie Plans Printables here for 2018. And what I decided to use in this notebook is this style of calendar, where I have trackers on the left and then I have a monthly calendar to mark important dates on the right. Okay, so that's the calendar. Behind it, I have a dashboard that I haven't used. How sad is that? My perpetual calendar that I keep track of birthdays and anniversaries in. Here's a pretty piece of vellum. I think this is from the Planner Society. And another Kinley's Doodles. Uh, this next section is for all my finance tracking and I'm not gonna show you in detail here because it does have our personal information in here. But this is where I keep track of my bills every month to make sure I don't miss out on paying anything um, and I stay on budget. So I have those inserts in here and then a debt repayment insert from Annie Plans also in there. My last section includes, well, it's not my last section, second to last, includes my lists. So within here, I have another dashboard. It's a double dashboard. It's got two pockets on it. Um, and again, I kept it kind of clear. I just like my little die cut in here with my name. But behind that, I have my lists insert from Annie Plans. These are blank that I can add anything I need to to keep track of. So I have several pages there for lists. Behind that, I have my reading insert for 2018. And I'm keeping track of the books I'm reading. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five so far this year. Um, my March book club pick is here. And then I'm keeping track over here on my little bookshelf too. So I'm gonna fill that up this year, hopefully. And then, um, so there's several pages of that. I don't think I'll fill them up for 2018. That's a lot of books, but we'll go right into 2019. Uh, so that's my reading insert. And then I have an information tab. So this can contain a lot of things. So first of all, I have an address book. Now, yes, I have an address book in my phone, of course, but just in case, just in case something goes wrong and technology fails, I wanted to have the most important addresses here so I'm keeping them in this insert. Then I have another piece of that vellum, so pretty. I think it matched the chili so well. My two pets, I have Macy, another and a pet insert, and then Tyners, she's my other pet, both cats. 
so they have their own inserts to keep track of their health and wellness. My last section here is my reference tab. Now within reference at this point, I have my Foxy Fix sizes. I need to add um, A5 rings and regular personal rings to this. But this helps me keep track of what sizes are what within the Foxy world and how they compare to um, industry standard sizes. So that is that. And then I just have some blank grid here. A pretty piece of acetate with some gold bows on it. Another dashboard. Then this is my page lifter from Foxy Fix. And then just a few cute little things tucked in the back pocket here for color. Um, so that's it as far as the inside goes. It's a really beautiful leather. It's soft and shiny and I just really can't say enough good things about it. It's so pretty. Oops, I put that upside down. So that is how gorgeous it looks. And then from the side, you can see there's still room. If you wanted to insert a pen holder in there, you could. I just haven't because it lives at home and there's always a pen handy. So those are my rings. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you like this video and follow me. Thanks so much and have a great day.